Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode, we got a lovely evolution. Halberd evolved into a Fracture. So let's have a look at this guy. Um, yeah. A lot of attack. 102 attack. Very powerful. It's... You know, it, it, it's, it's... Well, it's got more attack than our Scraggy. Or than our Scrafty. That's saying something. And it's two levels lower. That's saying something. And that's just proof that the next Pokemon is going to be even better. But we'll have to wait a little longer for that one. Aha. Uh -huh. This feels like an ominous area. Ooh. Hello, N. Ooh, wow. Oh my god, it's a giant goat! Look at that thing! It's a giant goat! It's a dragon goat! It... It's a goat! This is what happened when Daniel Bryan got pissed. What do you think, Master? How do you like the beautiful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights beside the hero? That will lead the way to a new world. Now, Reshiram and I will head to the Pokemon League and defeat the champion. This will be the last of the Pokemon battles that hurt Pokemon so. A world for Pokemon alone. It's finally going to be a reality. Wow. Did he actually catch the legendary goat? If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. That's right. When Reshiram's counterpart Zekrom recognizes you, we will finally be even. And then, you can try to stop us. Well, what will you do? My prediction, if the future that I see is true, you will meet Zekrom. The Pokemon with you believe in you so strongly. Will you be the one who interferes with my formula for changing the world? If you want to protect the bonds between Pokemon and people, you must search for Zekrom. I'm sure it's waiting for you in the form of the Darkstone. Hmm. Oh god, then Reshiram goes away. Up, oh, Charon and Bryson, what's up? Master, do you see what flew off just now? How could this happen? Why, that was that guy N, right? Why was he with the legendary Pokemon? He couldn't really be a hero. Could he? Also, did I hear him tell you to search for another legendary Pokemon? Calm down, first we go back. It's more important to decide what to do next than analyze what just happened. Okay, let us do that. Going down stuff! Astounding! I never would have imagined that a legendary po dragon type Pokemon would return now. That guy called N. Team Plasma's boss apparently reawakened the legendary Pokemon. He told Master to look for the other legendary Pokemon, then flew away. Huh? There are two legendary dragon type Pokemon? Technically, there are three. Yes, yes, they are. Who's that? Of course it'd be you, Alder, wouldn't it? Why, if it isn't Alder, it's been a while. Have you been well? No time for chit chat. That fearsome column of fire was shot from that tower. That Pokemon has the power to destroy the world. It is on Team Plasma's side, and Team Plasma tells everyone to release their Pokemon. No matter whether it comes from fear or admiration, the world can't help but change. It will become a world where we are separate from Pokemon. Right! Moreover, the boss of Team Plasma, N, who reawakened Reshiram, apparently said to look for the other Pokemon, Zekrom. If I remember the myth, Reshiram's fiery path, along with the other Pokemon, devastated ancient universe in an instant. Even knowing that, N will want to, it still wants to awaken another? Huh? Isn't it dangerous to bring back Pokemon that powerful? Miss, you are a very kind person. Still, I don't know if other Pokemon will be able to stand up to it. Because no matter what, it is a legendary being. I don't like the idea of taking orders from N, but searching for the dragon... For the dragon, the stone, might not be a bad plan. We certainly can't let Team Plasma reawaken both of them. Since I travelled all over Unova, I have an idea of where it might be. Let's head to the Relic Castle, Master. Everyone, I'm going. I see. 
We'll leave that all that up to you. I'm going to investigate the tower. Hopefully, I'll, we'll find something. Then I'll go with you. They go off. What are we going to do? I think I understand better now. Being able to do something for Pokemon for somebody at a time like this is strength. I'm sure of it. And even my, and my strength is something that is given to me by Pokemon. Okay, champion. Let's hurry. Still an ass, Charon. Master, this has turned into a big deal. So confusing. I don't know what to do. Are you going to the Relic Castle, Master? Past Route 4 on the Desert Resort. I hear that's where the Relic Castle is. Yep, we're going there. We are going there. Can I actually get up there? I, I sort of want to get up there and get that item. Uh, apparently, I can't. Assholes they are. Oh, never mind. Probably wasn't much important anyway. Okay, so, uh, let's go to the Relic Castle, shall we? First thing we need to do... Ooh, wait, there's a, there's a hidden item. It's there. But how to get there? We'll have to try and find that one out. Oh, wow. That is rather annoying. Um... Forget it! I can't be bothered at this point! Alright, so, uh, let's carry on, shall we? So... What we need is we need to get our good old pal Flappy out of the box. There he is. Sorry, there she is. Alright, uh, we'll put Kai at the moment. That won't, sh that won't be for long, by the way. I'm just using Flappy to fly to places. So Bianca said that it was on the desert resort, this relic castle. And she is exactly right. So we need to go and find said place. Ooh, before we do that, actually... I keep forgetting things. I'm terrible with that at the moment. Alright. Buying crap. Let's buy ourselves some Max Repels. Let's buy 17 of them. Which makes a slight dent in our money, but not too much. We now have 20 Max Repels again. Alright, now we're finally going to fly out of here. Uh, Flappy. Use Fly. Where's Route 4? There it is. So it's along that route. Let's go to Nimbasa City then and uh, and see where things land. Fly away! Alright. Nice, we're back here again. I'm going to go in here and uh, deposit Flappy and get Kai back. Because this bit can be a bit of a pain. I admit. So let us get our lovely friend Kai. And Flappy, you go back in the box. Along with Horn Thing, the greatest Pokemon ever. Alright, let's go. Nimbasa City. Miles will turn on my bicycle. And my dousing machine. Alright, let's go. Whee! Woohoo! Let's go. Alright, so. The Desert Resort, or Route 4. Oh, interesting. Aha! A hyper potion! Hidden! Got it. Oh, Lord. Get out of there. Thank you. Ooh. Hello. How are you today? I probably will be able to kill you. Oh, there. Even in the middle of construction, a trainer will battle. You're not constructing anything, you're walking around. You ass. Worker Scott has got himself a rock and roller. Oh great, this guy's gonna be so weak. Level 18. <laughs> Sorry that I picked so that I'm picking on you, pal. Sorry I'm picking on you. Uh Marley. Oh wow, I didn't actually heal up. Yeah, maybe I should do that. There's an idea. Oh, rock blast. That's not very nice. Ow, stop that. Ow! you! That was just horrible! No experience, pretty much. Next up, 
More sandstorm damage. The next up is a timber. Timber! Alright, I do believe I'm actually going to go back and heal, but I'm going to do that off screen because no one wants to see that. So, um, yeah. This worker is defeated. God, I'm digging myself into a big hole. You sure are. Alright, so, um, go and heal! Alright, we're back. Let's go. And battles again. A battle like a construction project. They're both a piece of cake for me. And you probably also fail at both. Alright, so this is worker Zack. He's got himself a timber, which is probably like level 3. No, nope, level 19. Oh, wow. I should have come here earlier. Right, so this part of the Relic Castle is... Or, oh, well, the Desert Resort. Is a bit of a pain, but, you know, that, that's the way it is. Hex, to you. Marley's so close. Why can't I just have, like, one big battle? Just one. Ruins buried in the desert. It's a grand adventure in a story. Interesting. There's nothing here. There's probably something over there, though. Of... Well, there's battles. I don't want bloody battles. No, I don't want to go up against Darumaka. Go away. As much as Darumaka are a great Pokemon, I don't want to fight one, thanks. But fine, fine, I will kill you with a Hex. A Hex on you! You're dead. Alright, nice. No experience, pretty much, because it wasn't a trainer Pokemon thing, and if it, even if it was, it still wouldn't be much. Alright, I'm going to research this area first. So, um, Max Rappel. It's Max Rappel time. Now to put me Dowson Machine back on. God, this bike's taking so long. Come on! Hurry up! There you go. And nothing! All there is is a trainer, which I do not want to fight at the moment. So let's carry on. That was completely and utterly useless. Let's go! Up. And onwards. The Desert Resort. Hello! I'm going to see the ruins, but I'm afraid I might get lost in the desert. It's really big, and sometimes you're in a Pokemon. Will I be trouble if I'm not strong? Well, maybe a bit. You two just say nothing, pretty much. Asses. This also has nothing to do with it. Right, let's go! We're going to the desert resort. Yeah! Welcome to the desert resort. Let's talk to this guy first. I'm a trainer first, a doctor second. This guy is obviously a doctor. He will heal up your Pokemon if you beat him. He's got one Pokemon, which is a Solosis. Probably a low level. Level 23. All right. Well, not that low. Well, yeah, very low, actually. But, uh, yeah, never mind. So now we don't have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. We can just beat this guy with a Hex. A Hex on you. Kill him. Beat his little uh, jelly guy. Gain some experience, which still doesn't level us up yet. Oh, no. I wanted in this episode for me to get myself a chandelier, but that's not going to happen yet, I don't think. What about you? I came to clear out the uh, desert resort the train, but... There are so many ground-type Pokemon, I'm already in tatters. That's a shame. Yo! Having traveled the world, I realized we can communicate through our Pokemon. Yes, like my Pokemon say, R, I don't like you, die. For example, Backpacker Kelsey has got a Tranquil. Nice. Schwanky. I have Molly, who is so close to leveling up and evolving. How close is he? Come on. Air Cutter. Wow, a level 23 is quicker than a level 40 Litwick. I think a Litwick's as slow as crap, so that's understandable. Yes! Level 41 for Marley! Finally! That message came through loud and clear. Yeah, you need more than that Pokemon. Marley is evolving! Finally! Our Litwick is not gonna be so crappy. Marley is evolving. And this is a big moment right here. A lot of times in my Let's Plays, there is a Pokemon that evolves like twice in like two videos. This is this one. First up, there's Lampent. So there's Lampent, quite cool ghost type Pokemon. Uh, let's just have a look at Lampent first. So there he is, 115 uh, uh, health, 
Good special attack, look at that, and not bad speed. Still has flame body. And now, it's time to put that lovely dusk stone into action. Now, where is it? There it is. Whew, for a minute there, I thought I lost it. There you go, dusk stone, and Marley evolves again. Do, 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 This is another big moment here, yeah, because now Marley's going to his final evolution. That means that all my teams at the final evolution, apart from one, this is a chandelier. Oh, yeah. Marley's evolved into a chandelier. Nice. Right, so let's have a look at chandelier's stats, then. It still has the same amount of health, 115 health. But it's a special attack has gone through the roof! 136 special attack. That is insanely large. Right, um, Kai, you're gonna come up, uh, first because you're the, you're the guy with the least amount of, uh, well, level at this point, so you are up first. Ooh, what's that over there? Well, first, battle! Hello! Being with my Pokemon makes me happy, even when we're in a bad situation. Good for you! When I'm with my Pokemon, they normally evolve into monsters. Just saying. Backpacker Liz has got herself a Watchog. Nice. Okay. Level 23. Coming out, Kai! Right, so Kai at the moment, level 39. Uh, the lowest level Pokemon we've got, apart from, obviously, our Axew. Oh, and I was very lucky I blocked that Super Fang. And Watchhog dies to the Sandstorm damage. Nice, Back Paddle is defeated. Yes, it was fun. It sure was fun. Alright, so the final, evol final evolution I need is at level uh, 48. Oh, and some Black Glasses. Nice. Black Glasses obviously increase the power of Dark-type Pokemon moves, which is very useful. Um, What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, Repel again, wasn't I? But yeah, at level... Uh, 48 will be the final evolution for my team, and it's and it's Haxorus. You get the amazing, awesome Haxorus come in. You're the first person to come clear out here and talk to me. I'm so moved, so I'll give you this. Soft Sand. Nice. Increase the power of ground-type moves, which is very useful when it comes to people like Griffith, for example. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Black Glasses. Probably won't be using them at this point. Uh, Griffith currently has Bright Powder. Let's change that to Soft Sand. And actually, let's give the Black Glasses to Wedge. All we need is like a bent, like a Twisted Spoon now, which increases the power of um, uh, Psychic type attacks. Ooh, now here's something. These are Darmanitan, the evolved form of Darumaka. Uh, but this is a mode they can do called Zen Mode. So, yeah. Anyway. I want to have a look round. I want to keep having a look round for a bit, actually, for this part. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's a hidden item there. I'm going to slowly bike my way towards it. Hyper Potion! Alright, so it seems to be some random Hyper Potion spree. Nice, okay. Let's go this way, then. Ooh, there's another. There it is. It's an ether! Not bad, not bad at all. Ooh, and a heart scale! Useful! Heart scales are always useful. You can make Pokemon learn moves with them. Ah, oh, there's a repel war off. Hello! Right, we'll do this battle and I'm probably going for a break here. The abilities of my Pokemon, I will show them to you. I don't believe you will. You are psychic low. Very low. You have yourself a Yamask. Which is quite creepy, as Pokemons go. Or as Pokemon go, Yamask is very creepy. I believe it's like the face at the bottom is like the faces of the po of the people they've killed or something like that. It's, it's just very creepy. It also has the ability Mummy, and can learn Will-O-Wisp. So yeah, this thing's full of surprises, and I don't like Yamasks one bit. They're just horrible-looking things. Anyway. You're dead, so that's good. 
Um, next up is, well, getting hit with Sandstorm. Next up is Mana. Okay. Don't worry, Pokemon get a lot tougher later on. You know, we, we should have come here earlier, but we didn't. But they're not all going to be like level 22, I promise. Alright. And there goes Psychic Glow. I couldn't make really good use of the ability Mummy. Yeah, Mummy kind of sucks as a move. Anyway, so I'm going to go for a break here. But in the next episode, let's play Pokemon White. We will explore this bit more and go to the Relic Castle. I'll see you then.